G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19 where we're back to continue the Extinction series in today 35. We are halfway through the potential maximum for this series, we only go to day 70, that is like the final end cap of any series that I do, so whoa, we are halfway there. Bon Jovi was a prophet for this series, he sung all about it, we are living on a zombified prey. But today is going to be a big day. I have a little to-do list on the wall over here. I need to get myself some turrets. I need to sort out my horde base. And all before the next wave of zombie orphaners comes beating down my door. So I'm going to take with me... $60,000 just casually, just because I can. I need to go see the tradie potaties. Now, I did actually, before I started this episode, I went back and looked through the footage of day uh, 33 and 34 that I filmed them in tandem, and I looked at what the, the traders that I went to had in their inventories, and neither of them had any turrets. There was no shotgun turrets or SMG turrets. So, I'm a bit up that well-known creek without any sort of fluffy paddle at the moment. So, I think my best option is going to be to make myself some turrets. I have the ability to do it. I need some forged steel and some motion sensors. Do I even have any motion sensors right now? Tools. I have one motion sensor. How am I going for steel these days? I have like, oh, 13 steel. I don't have much more on the crafts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have to buy some steel, actually. I mean, I have the money, so I may as well do it. I need to get all the stuff. I need some polymers as well, actually. I need to get all the stuff that I need from Trader Potato to try and make myself the turrets. I need to do that, get that done first, so I can build the rest of the horde base afterwards. Still lots to do, and not a whole lot of time to do it in anymore. First trading, gonna go south down to the desert. Gonna go around the mountains like that, if I just go down this main road here. That's the best option to get down south. I'm gonna go that way. What up, chicken? How you doing? Bonk! Oh, almost got it. I don't even really know what I want to get out of today. Like, clearly I want my turrets and I want to survive the horde night, but like, oh, I love that. I love how just like dense and thick it sounds when you run over a zombie. Those zombies are thick, but not in the traditional sense, in the squelchy, goopy sense. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I want out, what I want to get out of today. I think if I get like at least one turret up on the roof, I'll be happy about it. I do kind of want two so I can have one turret facing either way for whichever direction the flapping galahs might come in from. If the eyepieces are going to show up, I want to be prepared for it with like a really big stick or some turrets to take care of it. I also really haven't searched out this town down here very well, have I? I haven't really been down here much at all. Came down here for one day, then pissed off back up north again. Let's just uh, head out this direction. The trader is on the other side. There should hopefully be a road to take me between the two. But already between the two, there's definitely not a mountain range. So already in better stead than we were before. Well, it wasn't quite as uh, easy going as I was hoping. I was hoping for a road or something to lead me out there. But that's okay. It's relatively flat ground. I can just go cross country a little bit. It reminds me of the, I remember like ages ago when I was talking about how like, like the different vehicle options you should be able to have, where you could get, make yourself like a dirt bike that's better at off-roading than uh, on-roading. It's like make the motorcycle and even the, um, what should I call it, even the Jeep be like super duper fast if you're driving on those nice tarmac roads. So if you take the time to follow the roads, you should be able to get up to like a full buck 20 without really breaking a sweat. Like make it more fuel efficient and go faster on the tarmac. But then if you wanted to go off-road, you could have a dirt bike that specializes in that slower on the tarmac but faster out in the rough stuff so i mean that's how that's what i think it should have i mean clearly there's a lot of things that i think seven days that i should have that just aren't really the case at the moment but what it does have for me is a tradie pro tady. However, unfortunately once again as always i'm here like a full hour before he's going to open up for business well we know the drill when we've got nothing else to do may as well just go right into this joint no Ibis is around. No, we're all good. All right, well, it's been our way into here. Who knows? Might find a bookshelf or two. Ready or not, here I come. Shotgun's out. How you doing, Nance? You know what? Actually, we probably just go to the club. Let's, let's not waste ammo just yet. I mean, we're coming up to a horde night. We're fully specced into clubs. I do have a full whack of shotgun ammo on me, but even so, probably don't want to waste it. Grand Heist Volume 7. Motion detection devices will not recognize you. That's not super important, but I'll read it anyway because it is another book. Uh, could drink some water as well. I'm fully fed and fully nourished, fully hydrated, but I'm always on the lookout for some extra along the way. Quickly murder you. And, oh, okay, I woke someone up. We've got Bozza and, oh, a feral. 
Oh, well, she was a feral, but now she's definitely not anymore. One fell swoop of the spiky, flamey club of death, and you are cooked. You are cooked like a goose on Thanksgiving. I assume we don't really have Thanksgiving down here. Uh, don't need any sewing threads. That's fine. Just quickly go on a cheeky deeky little raid. Nice and fast, nice and quick. Also needs to remember to take a bunch of iron as well, given I have like none of it left back home. I used it all already. But you know what? Everything I get. Everything I get that can be iron will be iron. Throw away the frothy. Don't need it right now. Come on, keep it going. Nice and speedy. Express loot time. Oh, that's a cop. Oh, but I put him down in one. That's what the shotgun is good for. Oh, I heard another one in there, though. I definitely heard another one. Nicky, move, please. Get in here and take care of the foot in law enforcement. Oh, there we go. Blew off their stupid weird little cop hats and it was like all across the room. We're really starting to get some dangerous zombies spawning. It's really starting to get into the thick of it now. Someone's on the spikes outside. I'll deal with them in a second, though. Anything in here? No. Any toilet guns just in case? No. Unless some nitro powder. Don't need that. I just need the iron. Was there nothing else in here except for those cops? Oh, never mind. That's where, like, the whole bloody loot room is. This might actually be a wandering horde outside, so it's probably worthwhile for me just to get out there and ruin their day. Quickly reload the shotgun just in case, because there's definitely more. I want to loot this place in peace. I don't have to worry about some galah coming up and pecking me in the back of the scone. Sit down. All right, let's see. What have we got? Nice and quickly. Medical supplies. I like how I came out on a tradey potato day and immediately got distracted raiding shit. Tier 1 shotgun. I'll take the ammo. I'll take the ammo out of you too. Reinforced chest. Tier 6 military armor. Ooh, and some other like lovely mods as well. Another, I've got a second stack of shotgun ammo going on. That's how much I'm rolling with. What's in the gun store box? Some parts and some more ammo. All right, no whackers. Ooh, sneaky dicky medium pile of ammo up the top as well. Scrap that for the iron, take the ammo. All right, we're good. I didn't actually raid this place good and proper though. I think I even saw the normal way up. I came into the garage. Yeah, that, there goes a lantern there. So this is the normal way you're supposed to go. Get the shotgun out. Still need to go express. Is there anybody up here? Or did I wake everybody up already? Nope, no one hiding out in the closet for me. No one in the bathroom. All right, nice and peaceful so far. That's what I needed. That's what I came for. A bookshelf. You're hiding anything? No, you're not. All right, what's in the bookcase? Ah, oh, two things I've already read. All right, that's all right, though. I came here hoping for bookshelves, and I found some bookshelves, so I can't really complain too much. Oh, good day, dance. Woo! God, okay. I'm loving having the shotgun. Yes, it may be a little bit slower than what I wanted it to be, but, I mean, I'm not complaining too much. Nice little balcony out there. I mean, this would have been a pretty sweet place to live. Directly across the road from Trady Potato. Some I've already set up digs elsewhere. Anything in you? Some gold rod tea. Drink you as well. Someone's got to have a safe around here. Surely. How's this whole house? Got a whole bunch of portraits and no safes behind it. Nope, nothing there. Check downstairs as well. Already been through here. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're good to go. I think we've done what we can here. We've got some good loot. We've got some good stuff. Time to get. Damn it, I can't get out of there. The roof is too low. Get out of here. Go see Trady. Then go see other Trady. We're still a man on a mission, even if the shiny loot has distracted us <laughs> once again. As always, we'll check the vendo, see what you've got. You've still got no looting candies, because of course you're bloody don't. Why would you? Why would you have something actually worthwhile for me? What up, knackers? What have you got for me? T5 baseball bat with 560, or do the military events? I'll I'll just take you thank you very much do you have any other jobs something out to the north we're worthwhile t4 fetch and clear oh you you give me what i wanted you give me what i was asking for 800 meters to the north that might be t4 fetch and clear it's bloody it's, it's oh no that's what i'm handing in where did you send me ah down there i don't recognize what building that is but i'll, I'll check it out when i get back up there. i have to go to that tradie anyway what is in your inventory though what have you got for me bullet casings i'll take those Nails, I don't need those. Got plenty back at home. Steel crossbow bolts, I do need those actually. I've been burning through my supply pretty bloody quickly. So, on a shotgun mod, um, not a whole lot of anything actually, do ya? Not a whole lot of anything. Well, I will take the buckshot as well, actually. And I will take the oil. And I'll take the gunpowder. Let's just go the old fashioned way. Let's go. Do you have any turrets? Got a robotic turret? Don't need that. Do you have any iron, actually? I'm pretty low on that. You have a lot of iron stuff, not iron itself. Do you have motion sensors? No. Do you have any schematics? No. Oh, we've got polymers, though. I do need polymers. Make sure I buy all of those. Boom. Thank you very much. What about volume? Not nothing in there. What about your secret secret stash? Sniper volume 2, Spray of Blade mod. Lots of books, but I've read them all already. Ah, it's always it's just... Well, it's about Traders just aren't awesome. giving me what I need anymore. They're just really letting me down. Every time I come out to these places, I have very high hopes, and they immediately get thrashed. Like I'm about to thrash this bloody zombie. What up, knackers? 
piss off. Look, now you're as disappointed as I am, but you literally got punched in the face. I only got it figuratively. I just want to quickly double check as I'm cruising through here. Did I raid this house? This is the house with all the bookshelves in the world in it. Have I been through here already? I mean, it's probably worth just a double check. Because if I haven't been here, that's a whole lot of knowledge in there ready for the taking. Up, over, hello, everybody. Yes, I have, because the doors are open. That's all right, that's all right. I'll quickly even just go... Oh, my game just froze up a little bit. That's okay. Just wanted to quickly make sure I had the loot and specs... Uh, the extra that was on. Just to make sure I was getting the most bang for my buck here. They're all empty. Okay, never mind. Had to double check, though. Had to make sure if that's what I'll do. So I remember this the last time. I'm starting to get better at this. I'll put a frame... Just like there. That'll be enough to tell me, because I usually come in from the back way anyway. You know I do. So if that's there, oh no, I've already been here before, and to keep on powering through. So this building here is the tier 4 fetch and clear that he just sent me on. Not too bad of a place. If I survive tonight, I might be able to do that tomorrow even. There's the exclamation point just out the front. A reasonably big little joint. Oh, that's a, a, a contradiction right there. It's a reasonably big place. I should be able to get through it though, especially with the shotgun, but I wouldn't mind a better one. It is only a tier 2 shotty after all. Not quite as fantastic as I was really hoping for, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and I was begging for that auto shotgun for a very, very long time. And it's served me well so far. It does enough damage. I might actually swap out the crippler mod on it onto a, um, a, a muzzle, what's it, what do we call it, like a, a choke, a shotgun choke on the end of it to kind of tighten up that spray pattern to put more pellets into the faces of zombies. Especially when I'm planning on using it tonight. It's got more shells in it, so, I mean, it's going to be better than the pump action shotgun. Fires about the same rate, but it's not having to reload quite as much will come in handy, especially what I'm expecting to be a considerably bigger horde than last time. Uh, okay, we go here, got my XP goggles on still, make sure no birds will follow me from the desert. We're looking okay. All right, we're back again. Got any learning candy for me this time, bud? No, once again, nothing. Just when you thought you couldn't be more annoyed at Trader Wrecked, it continues to be a big bag of cock. What have you got for me this time? T4, uh, steel spear or some fort bites. Uh, don't forget your 50% what? Uh, so... I feel like Fort Bites got worse. Didn't it used to give you like 300% melee damage or something like that? Or range damage even? I don't know. But damage mitigation plus 50%. So you just like take more punches in the face, I suppose. I'll take that Steel Spear though. What jobs he got? Anything nearby? Tier 1 clear zombies. I'm going to burn through that like a hot knife. Uh, tier 4 clear zombies. 700 meters away. To the northeast. Which is over in the other That's town actually. Alright, well, I'll take that one. Oh, it was the gun store too. Oh, it's going to give me another reset on the Shotgun Messiah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, what you got in here for me, Knackers? What you got? I don't even know if I have a switch at home, so I'll take a switch. Do you have any turrets? No, I already checked all the turrets, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't being a galar about it. Nothing there. Motion sensors? No. I've got one motion sensor at home, and if I need it, I'm going to desperately need it. Steel, I'll buy some of that. I will need that too. Uh, hmm. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I might be in trouble here. I'm not, I'm not even able to get the, the stuff to do it. In fact, do I even have the ability to make any bloody electricity? I don't even think I have a generator bank. I'm already getting well ahead of myself before I even had the means and abilities. Okay, I can make myself a battery bank. It only takes two minutes as well, so that might be my best option. I won't be able to recharge the batteries, I suppose, but I have batteries at home anyway, so that might be my, uh, my go to plan. The number has now turned red. It is a red number day. How am I looking? 25% fuel left over. It's quarter to 10. So we've got a little bit of time. I'm not going to faff about it anymore after this, though. I'm going to go see the other trader over in the other town. I've been there before. Oh, could I could I see that guy and then quickly duck down to that one, too? I mean, it's not too much of an after, I don't think. It's just on the other outskirts of town. Plus, I do have the petrol for it, and it might well be worthwhile. I mean, even if it's just for steel, I suppose. I'm going to buy all my steel because I don't have enough uh, iron at home to make some more. Check all the vendors on the way through, too, because you never know when you might run out of loot and candy. We don't know how I feel about loot and candy. It is my savior. Still none. Still none. It's been literal days since I saw any loot and candy. Where the hell is it all gone? There we go. Some eye candy. Finally, I found one. I woke up half the building to do it, but that's okay. Back onto the motorcycle and head up over to the other vendors as well. This is like half the endeavor now. Just find the shit that we took for granted before. We now never see anymore. What's inside you? Another eye. Oh, there we go. There we go. We have two. I mean, at least then I can use one for the Shocker Messiah. Well, the next time I go through it, assuming I survive tonight. But even so, I was hoping for more and none in there either. All right, never mind then. All right, on to the next trader. Oh, actually, no, wait. There's one more. There's one more sneaky deaky one that I always forget. Always, whenever I'm passing through, I always forget one. There's just one right here up in... I can't forget about it because it's already broken. 
Every time, Josh. You know it's broken. You've checked the thing like three times. You always forget that it's not a working one. Damn you. Gotta go nice and quick, bud, because we're fast approaching midday. And I don't even know if there's anything at home I need to like upgrade to. No, nothing in there either. If I need to upgrade anything at home to concrete or anything like that. If I get some, like, if I get the concrete like poured before midday, there's a good chance it's gonna set before the horde nine. That's kind of the rule I usually work with. Already got a job from you. May I see inventory? What have you got for me? Do you have any? First of all, any steel? You got no forged steel. You bastard. Nothing else in here either. What about motion sensors? No, nothing that. Do you have any polymers? No, that's why you spell polymers. Josh, learn to spell, learn to type. No polymers either. Hmm. All right, I am, um, yep, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Just a little teeny tiny bit. 20 iron, not much, but I'll take it. Bunch of stuff that I sold him last time. A real pleasure. I wish I could say the same to you, buddy, but once again, you've left me a little bit half cocked and a little bit disappointed. Definitely didn't satisfy me as much as I was hoping you would. So I'm gonna go to the competition. I have to do it. I have to go check the other trader. Yes, and I was talking about how I wanna be home and poured by midnight, or uh, mid midday rather, but Listen, like having having a decent offense is more important to me right now than having the base pick and span. The important parts of the base are all concrete. There's a lot of flagstone left around there, and given oh, but, uh, given like radiated cops and stuff might show up tonight, some errant vomit might be disastrous for that hold base. And if that ha that happens tonight, and the hold base falls down and I die inside it, you can like pinpoint this timestamp as me being premonition premonitively. That's not even a word. Me having premonitions of being a up. I don't know how you like make turn into a current tense. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Is it a uh, premoniciously? Is that is that the word? Is that even a word? I don't think so. Once again, no bloody looting candy though. All right, no hackers. Move on. Go baby, go baby, go baby. One percent fuel left over. We might just run out of gas right at the front. We're on zero percent. Come on, just pull up out the front. Do it perfectly. Do it perfectly all the way up. Park right there on zero percent. Lovely. Perfect. Get all the gas out of you. Quick, go refuel. One and two. There we go. Okay, I can put the gas back inside. Whoop, just like that. All right. What up, buddy? Do you have a vending machine? Do you have any looting candy? Once again, no, you do not. Got some painkillers. Don't need those. All right. Nice and quick, bug. I don't have time for it. It is now midday as well, which I just realized. That is very, very upsetting. Mini bike. You got a truck for 45 Gs. I could afford it, but we all know how I feel about the 4x4, and that is a complete waste of fuel, and it's super cumbersome and annoying to drive. Definitely can't go cross country in that hotness. Uh, let's take the gunpowder. Um, what else you got for me? Anything, anything at all. I'm desperate at this point. I, oh, yes, a motion sensor. Okay. I have now two motion sensors. I can make the two, um, what should we call it? The two bloody turrets that I want. I'll take that to scrap to iron. Um, another 4x4. Jesus, you're really, are you a car yard? What's going on, bud? Why are you selling so many vehicles these days? Uh, let's go iron. Not nothing there. Do you have any volumes? No. Do you have any schematics? No. Do you have any shotguns? I've been checking shotguns, but they're not in there anyway, so no use doing it anyway. Uh, some mods. No. Bicycle handlebars, 44 magnums, books I've already read. Dang, 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 dang. I really need to invest into better barter at some point. Steel, not no steel in there either. We'll take the crossbow bolts though, thank you. Great All right, business. time to go home. Come time to go home. Scrap that into right? iron. Let's get out of here. Time to blow this popsicle stand wide open. We've licked it clean down to the woody pulp. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go home. Ooh, but wait, but first, cheeky vendo. Cheeky Vendo Run? I think so. Cheeky Vendo Run gives me an eye candy. Hey, look at that. We've got three eye candies today. That's like the greatest horde ever. So the question now is going to be, is how quickly, how express can I build the rest of the horde base? So I need to build two turrets. I need to build a battery bank. I need to wire all that up. I need to finish my, um, my bloody sky bridge to get from my base to my horde base. Make life a bit easier. Is there anything else I need to do? I need to find a place to put the battery bank. I need to... Do I need to get rid of the spikes at the top? Probably not, I suppose. I can leave it there and they can slowly get degraded and broken as the vultures fly down and get their ibis face stabbed in the eyes. Uh, what else is there? I can't... I can't think of anything else. I think that's it. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous about how much flagstone is in that. Especially, like, in the support, the main pillar underneath why, like, my main, like, kind of, uh, uh, bunker part. I, I mean, they should be far enough out of the way that an exploding cop up the top, I shoot him in the face, I don't actually kill him, and then he has a heart attack and explodes. I don't think his blast radius will be enough to actually destroy that pillar down below. It is a bit of a gamble, though. That's a reasonably weak part of the horde base. I could try and upgrade it to cement now. I don't think I have enough for the whole lot, though. I need to go flagstone, cobble, cement. So there's still a bit to do. I don't know. 
I don't know how it's going to go. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous about it. And like every time I come to a horde night, I always kind of get a bit nervous about it. I try not to talk about it much anymore because whenever I do, people are like, oh, what are you nervous for? You're going to rinse it anyway. But every time I'm like, you know what? Things could go wrong here. There is no guarantee that I'll come out of this. If I do, it'll be by the skin of my teeth. But man, I'm not feeling confident about this. Man, I'm not feeling confident about this. Man, I'm not feeling confident about this. All right, home sweet home. Oh, there's a bear in the middle of the bloody road, though. At 10 to 2. Quickly go like this. Let's go. Boom, the headshot. Oh, I got him right in the eye. Oh, wow. I'd feel a little bit bad about it if we weren't going to come and try and eat my face now. Oh, you look big and scary. Wow, you look big and scary. Have they, like, put a new skin on the bloody bears? Because that was a bigger and scarier ball sack than I've faced ever before. Quickly harvest you up, though, for all that juicy, meaty goodness. Give me a quick little moment to kind of just like uh, look at and try and get a better grip of what my base needs. So the pillars actually cobble, not flagstone, which is good news. Um, okay, I think if I make the turrets just bang up the top, that should be enough. The bear's now gone. Everything else there looks pretty good to go. That's steel and concrete. I might put like just like one line of concrete up the middle, that kind of thing. So even if like most of the pillar gets destroyed, there will be some concrete there to try and save my life with. Take all of that and put some of it back. You and uh, that one. Yep, all of those ones go back in there. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll take the rest of you inside with me. Gotta go quick, gotta go fast, gotta get building. Ah, uh, get in the window first of all. God damn. Motion sensor, steel, polymers. I think I had another motion sensor in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, I need some more polymers out of there too. Okay. Uh, XP goggles on. Yes, we're going to go nice and fast. I need to map myself to SMG turrets or shotgun turrets. Oh, I mean, it's going to have to be the SMG turrets. Oh, I'm going to need so much more steel. I need so much more steel. Shit. Okay, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. Turrets, what else do I need from you? I need handgun parts and oil. I should have most of that going. Uh, oil in here somewhere. There we go. And handgun parts will be in here. Even if I just get the one going, like that should be enough to kind of keep me safe. But then the extra one's just kind of a, a collateral kind of thing. Shit, it's going to take seven minutes on that. Ah, oh, well, no time like the present, I suppose. I really wish I could use that anvil trick now, but it's been patched out. That is rather unfortunate. I'm also four short on oil as well. Didn't I buy some? I did buy some. Lucky ducky. Um, bank. Forged iron, electrical parts, scrap polymers. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what's, Jesus Christ. What was it? What again? Uh, iron, electrical parts. Gotcha. Let's go here. Iron, um, electrical parts. There we go. Get one of you going as well. Battery bank. Boom. One of those. That's eight minutes of crafting. Do I, do I even have the ability? Do I even have the means to make myself another turret? I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try anyway. Any iron in here? There we go. Some iron there. Quickly get you all fueled up again. Get out of the way, Clay. Don't need you. I have plenty of clay in there already. I just need some iron going for me. Forge steel. I can only make two right now. Come on, burn faster. I've made myself some learning elixir as well. I'll quickly drink some gumbo stew that I've got going. I'll put you in there. I might even just go. Let's turn you on, actually. Let's just take all of you and turn all of you into grilled meat. I've got bloody heaps of it down there anyway, so may as well. Cook you. It's going to take 11 minutes. Uh, all the way up, please, to 11 minutes 30. That's almost freaking spot on. Lovely dovely. All right, you're going to take a bloody country year to get done, though. Let's go. Let's go and put some lanterns down. I mean, I have the lanterns for my uh, house use as well. Stick one in there in either one of the bedside tables. Get that all nice and lit up. Lovely. I'll keep the candles and stuff in here for the moment. I'll sort out the rest of that later. But I do need to put down some light over there so I can see. I sh no, Josh, you get distracted. You get distracted by other things. Let's go finish the horde base first. Then we can worry about lighting. Lighting comes last. Lighting doesn't impact your survival chances. So it's half past three. This may not be enough time. We're going to have to go for it anyway. Sh I don't have any cobble on me. Oh, that's going to be really awkward. Okay, well, we're going to get one of you up to there. Just one line, uh, well, I mean, like the double stack, I guess, of concrete either way, just to make it nice and solid. Uh, where can I get Where can I get some cobble from really nice and quickly? I could also make myself some, I suppose. Not a whole lot of resources left in the immediate area because I've gone out and scavenged what I can. Um, you know what? Just here, just here. I think the size of roads gives me stone and some clay. I'll just make my own. If you're going to force me to do it, dig a little bit of a trench just up along here. There we go. I'm going to make myself some cobblestone rocks. 27, that'll do. All right, nice and quick. Nice and quick. Not a lot of time left in the day. Got to get that stuff upgraded and ready or else we're going to die here tonight. Do the backside of here as well, all the way up. One, two, three. Don't need to worry about the floor of the bunker as such. Like all the, the stuff that's here that's actually left as... um. <gasps> I 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die! I cannot believe that just happened. Oh! <laughs> no! So not only, <laughs> oh fuck, oh my god, not only did I just lose my entire fucking base, I lo I, I, in the rubble there, I saw it dropping and I saw it dying, the, the box, the box that was full of ammo, hundreds and hundreds of rounds of shotgun ammo, 7.62s, the lot, it's all gone, all because I upgraded one flagstone block. A flagstone block. Why did that break the base? I was like, oh, those bits there, those like corner pieces seem to be holding in the rest of the wall. So I'll make sure I upgrade that so that it's nice and strong in case there is any air and vomit. Why did upgrading a block turn it into... Oh, fuck. I can't unpause yet because now literally every second between now and when the zombie horde shows up is incredibly important. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's too late now to rebuild that base. I don't know. I just don't know. This might be... Oh, fuck. Oh! Okay. Okay. Get it together, Joshy boy. Time is of the essence. We are now going to do this nice and quick. What have we got? So everything is gone. Everything is completely gone. <gasps> There's a baggie up there. There's a bag. There's a bag that potentially has all of my stuff in it. That is my last of my hopes and dreams. I really quickly need just some wood. I have some wood there. Just go like just half of it. Sure, whatever. Scrap that into some uh, some wood so I can make myself a chest. Because I need to quickly dump everything I'm about to get out of that bag into something. If that's all my ammo, I might still stand a chance. If it's not, then I'm, I'm boned anyway. So it's worth a shot. Put you there. Everything. Get in. I don't care what it is. Just everything. Get in. There's the bag. There's the bag. Up. Up, up we go, up we go. Yes! Okay, it's everything. It's everything. Okay, we're still in with a shot. Holy crap. Okay, you, get out of my inventory, please. I need to grab the rest of that stuff and quickly go put it into the other box. The, I, I can't get the rest of it, can I? <sighs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to fix this in like a matter of hours? Why? So what did I lose? I lost some candy, I suppose. Took most of the ammo. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm surprised the rest of it just like, disappeared like that, though. Okay. All right, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need lots and lots of cobblestone very, very quickly. Fastest way to get stone for me now is just to break down all the rubble that once was my majestic base. Oh, so by now, you've probably seen the base build video that I did for this base uh, well, a while ago for me now, where I went through and like built it a certain way and showed you guys how I was building it. And I, in that video, I said that you could probably thicken up the, um, the, the pillar underneath. It's probably a pretty good idea. I'd say it's a very good idea now, given the fact I've just burnt myself over. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm so fucking dead. If I get through this, I have no idea how. It's going to be a fight for my life. Now, I could just flat out cheese it, I suppose. I could build some, like, some, um, some wedge ships along there, but I still need to be able to kill the Muppets when I get to the other side. I still need to be able to actually fight off the Horde. I can't just cheese them and have them running around in circles all night or get myself killed that way anyway. Oh, God. I have so much clay back home anyway. Stone is more important. I'm going to have to get all of it and quickly build this thing again. Oh, man. It's, oh, Jesus Christ. It's already, already five o'clock. I don't have time anymore. Fuck it. Leave that there. Go get the materials. We've got to start building already. Okay, no time like the present flagstone blocks. Oh, sorry, I need to make cobble first, then flagstone blocks. Cobble, cobblestone rocks. Just make myself... I can make a whole bunch. I'm going to need just like a thousand straight up, please. No, that's too many. I need to like kind of balance how I make each one of these. A hundred even? Sure. Craft a hundred of those. I'll use those to make a hundred flagstone. Then once I have some flagstone blocks, I'm going to talk them quickly. Then I can start rebuilding the base. God, and it broke down this bit. So, okay, what's going to be the most important part? I don't actually know. 
Um, I'm gonna... I need to think... I mean, clearly I need to thicken up the bloody pillar as well at this point. Grab you, jump over, and sort out the rest of it. Thank God there was a bag of ammo, though. If that bag... If, like, if this had fallen down, that bag had fallen, then broken, it'd be all over for me already. There'd be no use of me even trying to fix this. But here we go. There's still a hope. There's still a dream. We can hopefully still make it happen all the way up. I need some flagstone blocks, please. Flagstone blocks. All out of you, please. There we go. It's only 11, but we'll have to do... Cobble, just make a whole bunch of that, please. Whole bunch. Make another, what do we got? 200, I suppose. Didn't finish the last batch, but I needed something to build with. There we go. Can you reach? Can you reach? No, you can't. Shit. Don't, God, oh, you bastard. I was going to say, don't bloody sprain your ankle. But there you go. Calamity after calamity. Shit's just getting worse. Okay, I have one side done. Oh, have I gone one too far, actually? I have gone one too far. Uh oh, shit. Uh, shape, I need my. What was it? Was these ones, I think? Oh, it's almost six o'clock. On face. Now, building the same thing again was probably like a bad decision, but whatever. I wanted to, I want to use this design. I want it to work. It worked last time, and it would have kept working if I wasn't the flapping galah that I am. Um, um, I need to, I need to very quickly, if I need to get rid of this one, I need to piss you off, please. Get out of my way. All the way down. Boom. There we go. Okay, I need to stick it to the other side as well. Out like that to there. Um, and I need to build a wall here as well. Oh, I know Zeus. I know. Listen, I don't have time to faff about with you right now. I know you're going to come. I know you're going to clap those ass cheeks on both sides of me nose. I just, I just need five more minutes, please. I just can't risk this happening again. So I've got to go and just upgrade this. I don't care that it's flagstone at the moment. I just need extra support on both sides of this. I can't have another collapse. I mean, I couldn't have that first collapse. I'm already cooked because of it. All the way up. Oh, for goodness sake. I need more bloody flag. This is the problem. I can't make both the... Jesus Christ, I know! I can't make both the cobble uh, that I need to make the flagstone and make the flagstone at the same time. But I've got to keep switching between. Cobble, just make all of it. I don't care. That'll do. Well, I'm going to have to stop the stop production of that anyway soon. Uh, all the way up. Yep, just to there. I can do the rest of it from the top. Oh, please. Please just go faster. Please just go faster. I'm so screwed. I've just realized that I've definitely made this one too long as well. I don't have as, as much space over here as I once did. Oh, well, too late for it now. What? Oh, I need some more, buddy. For goodness sake, get out of the way. I should just go. Oh, I know. I should go and make a whole bunch of cobble on my workbench over there. But I don't have time. Especially with my sprained ankle. I can't run over there anymore. So I'm kind of just limited to what I can do right now. Um, I'm just going to have to go. This isn't going to go well for me at all. Just going to have to go maybe the same blocks, actually. Let's spin it around because I had the normal full uh, blocks there last time. Let's go like that. Uh, all the way along. It's going to have to be a very melee-focused horde knight, I think. Go here. Make the rest of the bloody thing. Jump up. It's going to hurt my ankle, but whatever. I have to do it anyway. All the way across. You bastard. You bastard. I fell off the bloody thing. I put a block in the wrong spot. That cost me like a minute doing that. Shit! I'm not even sure if I've got enough like time or space to build a roof on this thing. I might just have to stand here on an open platform. Oh, but the vultures are going to come, though. The vultures are going to come for me. It's going to be a real bad time. Oh, my God. How did you place over there? What is going on with the bloody block placement right now? I have enough problems already, game. You don't need to continue to bend me over. There is no lube. There is no nothing. That lubrication you are feeling is actually just the blood that's seeping out of me right now. Give me a spell, would you? Fuck me. Oh, okay, there we go. Another one of those. Let's get some more cobble on the go, please. Cobblestone rocks. Oh, the balancing act. The balancing act is not going well. I'm going to leave that part open for a door so I can get in and out of this place, just like last time. Um, just gonna, I mean, all the sparks are gone anyway. I'm going to put a roof on this thing and call it a day. <laughs> no, actually, that's a bad idea. You know what? I can build it one further out. I've still got a couple hours of daytime. Don't panic just yet, Josh. I know it is the time to panic, but don't panic just, just at the moment. We can still do this. We can still do this. Get a little bit more space for you, just so you can have a little bit of breathing room. Flagstone block. Make all of those. We're going eight at a time. Every five seconds, we're changing what we're crafting. I just need everything to go right for me from here on out. And so far, nothing has been. One very important thing I definitely need to do at the expense of my ankle is go shape and go... Oh my god, I'm building all this out of... I've got flagstone against a day 35 horde. At game stage 1, 100 am I at at the moment? I'm probably pretty close to it. Game stage 98, so may as well be. Game stage 98 horde, and I'm going in with bloody flagstone. What could go wrong? Get rid of you. Just go like that. Make a whole bunch of you again. Thank you. Need the same one, please. That's the wrong button. Ah. Uh, copy rotation. I need to also copy shape. Boom. Just like that. 
That's gonna have to be my only chance. Just how it is just there. I do need to actually, as I'm making all that cobble, I need to upgrade all of this. This all needs to be strong. This needs to be the strongest part. Make the cobble faster, please, for God's sake. I'm so boned, I'm so boned, I'm so motherfucking boned! All right, I honestly don't think there's much more for me to do here other than just wait for my bloody leg to heal, which is not gonna do in time, but I'm currently crafting cobble as I limp around. God, what a hodgepodge mess this is. What an absolute hodgepodge. Uh, right, okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. Storage chest. I should have actually built this before I did that, put it up there at the top. You know, we're gonna have to go to the sprint, gonna do a little bit more damage to ourselves, but I have to do it. I need to start storing some stuff up in the base. Need to go and get my turrets that I went and deliberately made for myself. Take both of you. Get that out of the way, please. I need that box more than anything. I need the doors on the back as well. Spin that around so I can get out of here just in case. I need the box. You can just sit there. Okay, everything in. Everything in. Um, I'll go get the rest of the stuff out here. Still gonna hurt myself anyway. Wave. Oh, yep, just a little bit. Did 10 more seconds of damage. This last minute is gonna last a year. Take everything. Take everything we can. Everything needs to go up to the top. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have time for the turret, am I? I'm gonna have an open body ceiling with vultures everywhere. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck my ankle. Just keep sprinting. Just keep going. Everything in. I can come back for it later. We had it down to like 30 seconds and now we're back up to a minute. You, what have you got? You got a turret for me, you got a battery bank. I need all the nine mil ammo you can possibly give me. In fact, just like just three, actually, that's all I can really run. Mods and vehicles. I need the batteries. Thank you. I need a wire tool. God, I'm freaking out. Um, where the fuck's the wire tool? There it is. Okay. Just go. Just go. Fuck the ankle. Fuck your ankle, Josh. You can heal when you're fighting the horde. Where am I gonna put this thing even? Where's gonna be the right spot to put it? I don't even know. Up you go. Back up to two minutes. Um, let's just go like that. That'll do. Up and up. Okay. Um, you get out of the way. Everything out of the way, please. I need to put you down in a way that's gonna be like face the direction. Let's just put you actually over there. That'll do. Let's put the battery bank right next to it. Right there. There you go. In, in, in. Turn on. I need to get my wide saw. Boom. Just like that. Why you to there, please. No, that's the wrong way. Got 20 more minutes. Come on. That one to that one. There you go. Why are you going backwards? I don't know. In there. Lock ammo. You, to that one, please. Why are you being a cocksucker? To wire up the correct way. There you go. That one, to that one. There you go. Congratulations. You fucking figured it out. Let's just aim like that. Sure, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so cooked. Okay, I'm in. Doors are closed. We've got 10 more minutes. What can we do? It's just going <laughs> to... It's going to be me. My auto shock. I do have some repair kits. All right, sort the rest of this shit out. You, come down here. I don't need the crossbow right now. You can go away. Repair kits, come with me. Shotgun ammo, all of that. All my AK and shit is left over in the building. So all that 762 ammo is completely worthless to me. Um, do I have any, like, first aid shit here? No. No, I don't. I'm boned. I'm boned. I lost it all. When that box broke, I lost it all. I <sighs> don't have any Molotovs either for the Spider Boys. All right, I'm cooked. I'm just completely boned. I'm just completely fucking boned. Here we go. You're still making shit, I think. No, you're not. I need to make myself another door, please. Secure wood door. I need to make myself some more cobble for some future repairs. I left it all in the box. Left it all, all in the bloody box. You and you. Cobblestone, please. Make a whole bunch of you. I need myself some flagstone as well. There we go. Make you guys as well. But right, sort it out. Sort it out, Josh. There we go. I know the zombies are coming. We've got no time for it, though. Here we go. They're here. Oh, get set on fire, though, bitch. God, sit him down. I need to upgrade those blocks on the side there because that's the weakest part right now. That's where they're going to come through. So, oh, he got absolutely swatted. So before long, I'm going to absolutely need to sort everything here out. Everybody fucking die. Everybody die. This is what the auto shotgun was made for. Everybody's going to die today. The change to the other saga. I did upgrade that to cobble. Oh my God, bad time to reload. Oh, that, no, no, bad. Get off me bloody walls. Get out of here. This is not for you. I need some more flagstone immediately, please. Come on, okay, quick reload, quick reload. Attack reload, grab you. I need you to be the normal bloody block though, not the bloody ramps. I don't know why you're different. Go here, quickly sort you out. Go that one, there you go. Put you, put you there, there you go. And upgrade you, please. Come on, come on, go up, go up to the next level. Fine, fuck, I'm gonna kill the zombies first. I've got an open body ceiling. A vulture shows up and I die. That's essentially the rule I'm working with right now. Get the nail gun. Come on. There you go. Okay, we're slightly better off. That one block getting upgraded makes us slightly better. This is going to be me and a shotgun all fucking night, isn't it? That's all it's going to be. That thing is protecting me from the vultures. That turret was a good investment. Oh, you all need to die. You all need to piss off. I'm right on the cusp of death right here. Every given second. 
Oh, gone. Um, excuse you. You're not supposed to be able to get through there. Okay, maybe the wedge chips at the bottom were a bad idea. That's flopping around like a big old floppy sausage. That's flaccid as the day it was born. Put you all down. I don't know how that dog made it through. I need to not tempt them by getting that close. Apparently, if they really want it, they can weasel through that gap. I need them to not do that anymore. Come here, buddy. Come here, Bozza. Put you down. I can't reach them when they're over on the other side of it, which is really bloody annoying. I can kind of reach out and tickle them, though. Loza, Loza, piss off, Loza. This ain't your home anymore, Loza. Fuck off. They're kind of all getting sucked down there, which is fine. The ladder's up, are causing them some grief. There's still like a whole stair set over there if they really wanted it. Oh, Luke, you got something for me? Tier 6 pistol? Thank you. Would have loved anything else, but I'll take that with me anyway. You're still making stuff, so I can actually repair this as I go, which isn't so bad. Put you all down. You're coming the other way. Just go boom. Or oh, get out of the club for a little bit. I'm expecting the club, so I may as well use it just a little bit. Oh, you're a little bit hurt. You're a little bit hurt. That's fine. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. This is, again, this is what I was talking about in that video where I made, like, describing how you could build this base. If you sit here and actually actively repair it, then you should be pretty okay. And boy, am I living that, well, uh, living those words of wisdom right now. Like this, I don't know. I don't know how this is working so well. Thank God I didn't try and change the design. Just rebuilt what I had. In a matter of hours, I threw together something. And if we come out the other side, it's down to nothing but sheer luck. I can hear the turret upstairs cutting sick like every couple of seconds. Any more vultures coming for me, bud? Oh, yep. You just shot something. Thank you very much. My leg has healed finally, which is kind of nice. He's doing a good job of protecting me. Don't even need to steal him when you've got bloody air superiority cover. It's like the bloody A10 of the zombie world up there looking after me like only it can. Man, it's going to take a whole week to repair this place too. I need to completely redesign this place from the ground up. What have you got for me? Nothing. Great. Thank you very much. I'll eat that food. There's some more drop loot actually. No, throw that away as it gets out of my face. Well, I don't know why they keep going over that way. I wish they'd come over here out to like the actual killing window. Thank God for the shotgun. It's doing wonders. Look at that. Rinsing them. Rinsing them like a bloody cabbage in a pot. They're still coming thick and strong. No, um, no particularly bad zombies are showing up yet. No cops, no rads, no nothing. So we're doing reasonable. Oh, just decapitating Muppets left and right though. Oh God, it's only just midnight too. How are you doing for ammo, big boy? You're barely even through, like, halfway through one of your stacks, so you got lots more to go. We might make it through on just the ammo I've given you. A second turret would not go astray, though. Come on, keep on coming, keep on coming. Keep on rinsing, Josh. Go, shotgun, go, shotgun. Auto shotgun, definitely earning its bread. Definitely justify my decision of changing over from the pumpy boy. Bigger mags, bigger death, bigger fun. There is vomit coming in thick and fast from somewhere. I hope you got me covered up there, Tezza. You weren't doing much before. Are you cooked? Are you done? Unlocked ammo. Oh, I just shot my bloody. That was really... Oh, God. Yep, they're coming in now. Piss off. Piss off, your Ibis bastard. I'm not in the mood for you. Let's have me looking up there at the time. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so much more to go. There's so many more to go. I built Learn Elixir specifically for tonight so that I could hopefully get some more levels up. I didn't have time to go and get it, though. There you go. There you go. Doing wonderful things for me now, Tezza. You're finally working up from your slumber. I know you had a bab and several frothies, but this isn't time for a kip. Kip in the morning at 10 a.m. when you're supposed to be at dinner with your family. Fuck them off. Don't fuck me off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's more coming. There's more coming. It's all right, Tezza. I got you. I got you. You can't be trusted. Only the shotgun can be trusted. I'm moving the nail gun up to here. I'm also going to repair my shotgun real quick. Oh, stop making cobble, for goodness sake. And make... Okay, keep making cobble then. Actually, no, that's going to be probably enough for a little while. Get the shotgun back out. Get the shotgun out. For goodness sake, I pressed the button six years ago. And you're just like, no, I'm going to punch them in the air instead, rather than pulling out an actual firearm. But God, once you get it, though, boy, it is a wreck shot. This is only a tier two as well. What's going to happen if I find, like, a tier six auto shotgun? Am I just going to, like, come in my pants every time I shoot it? Is this going to be, like, a fucking Lonely Island song when a breeze rolls in? Take out your legs. Leg, piss off. Boom, boom. Just, oh, I'm taking limbs. I'm taking limbs. I'm taking names. Bozza, Bozza, Arlene, the fucking lot is. Take, get in line and saw your name. Uh oh, uh oh. Bad time, bad time. Oh, Tezzy, you saved me. I was reloading. So maybe if I stand over here, Tezzy might have a shot of actually protecting me, I suppose. Stay on top of the box. That's not quite what I wanted. I mean, I can kind of aim down. I might even need to. I, I put a, a full block there. I might even need... Oh, my God. Piss off, you pigeon bastard. I might even need to change that block into be like a ramp block or something. Given that I need to be able to fire down that line there. But if you guys want to, like... I'm not going to repair it anymore. If that block breaks, I'll repair it and replace it with a um a ramp block. Let's just do that now. Let's just get it ready for, to, uh, for it to be the right rotation. I'm going to put it down. Come on. Come on. All the way around. Like that. That's the block I'm going to need. Okay, when you guys destroy that, I'm ready to go to replace it with something more useful to me. God, that's a 
Sea of Zombies. Sea of Zombies getting sprayed with a Sea of Pellets. Oh, you're all gonna die today. Boom, come here, Nance. Sit down, Nance. They're still coming thick and fast. It's two in the morning. I've burned another 200 rounds of ammo since last time I checked, which isn't actually as uh, as ammo heavy as I was expecting it to be. Given how many zombies I'm rinsing with this thing, I was expecting to have used several more rounds. Quick reload, look at them all. But if I had the Molotovs, it'd be a great time to use them. But instead, oh, there goes the block. Okay, there we go, there we go. That's fine. Quickly just finish you guys off. Go away, go away, go away. Put you in. There we go. Right, I'll upgrade that in a second. That should enable me to be able to get in there a little bit easier than before. Upgrade you and use the clubby boy. Set you all on fire. No more like collateral damage to my own base with my club. I can sit here and swing, or I could if I had any stamina. Turns out looking at the sides of a shotgun drains all your stamina. That's right, though. Bond are mate level 50. I've already gained two levels in this horde night, and there's still lots more zombies to kill going strong. How you looking? How you looking up there, Tessie? You still looking after me? I hope so. I could put the roof on. I have the blocks to do it. There's a layer drop problem though. For the moment, this is all about surviving any which way. I can make the base better tomorrow. Oh shit, oh shit, the first rat has showed up. It's a spot zombie too. That's all right, mate. I was re rejigging the base specifically to take care of you and your kind. You bloody little crawly bastard. You can crawl up and lick me nutsack. That's all you've got to go on these days. No more special treatment. Uh oh. Uh oh, they broke the block up there though. No, bad, bad, bad. Turn the kitchen, fuck off, please. Okay, I need a full block for that one. Quickly do some running repairs up to there. Repair you. That spider's only got some serious height. I hope it doesn't come up and over the top. Or else I'm gonna be cooked. Go away, go away, go away, everybody. I've never been more tense in a hornet for a very long time. Not even a demolisher only hornet was this tense. This is way worse. Oh no. Oh no, that's real bad. I need you to die. I need to fix that one. There we go. That went around the other way. That's all right. That's what we have redundancies. That's why we have two bridges. If that had happened, it was only the single bridge. We would have died right then. They would have taken out the pillar underneath me. That's all right. All right, we're still good. We're still good. I can hit them beating on something, but that's all right. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Kill all of you. Everyone's going to die. They just roll up and have their watermelons exploded by the shotgun. 10,000 experience so far. I mean, I was just in that one little burst too. Soldier boy is down. I come right over here. I get a good little look at him too, which makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, just get rinsed. Get absolutely rinsed. Every single fucking one he is. Flop on down the shoots. Oh, this is good. This is good. The bonus now as well is me sitting in this corner. You can see all the pelicans, the bloody puddle of pelicans I'm sitting in, is that uh, the Tari boy up there can actually look after me a bit better because I'm actually in his line of sight. Let's rinse all of you guys. Oh, the auto shotgun. The auto shotgun fucking loves it. Oh, yes. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Finish you off. Just as they run in, wouldn't mind like a red dot side or something for this, but I've got the crippler model, which seems to be working well for me. Because taking off limbs and stuff seems to be a pretty wonderful idea. Run up. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. <laughs> Just like... Just like eating it for dinner. Bread rolls and butter. Call me fucking Madeline. This is amazing. I'm actually very hurt though, and I'm all, I've waited until the very last moment to use any of the first aid that I have. We can go there, just go with the clubby boy while it's going. Do get some of the back from killing Muppets with the, uh, the club anyway. Oh god, okay, that was a pelican, that's alright though. Look at that, by actually swinging my club, I've gained stamina. Riddle me that one game. Hit you in the face, hit you in the- come on, come on, there you go, there you go, kill every single body one he is. Yes, getting some health back. I'll quickly use another one to try and get myself good again. There really is nothing in here that I can use. Drink some water just because I can. There we go. Uh oh, no, bad. Bad zombies, bad zombies. Don't go rinsing my base. I worked so hard to throw this together at the very last moment. You can't come in and ruin it all. This took so much hard work. I can't bloody put that block back until the bodies that are underneath it. I've suffered with the brace, of course I bloody have. Until the bodies underneath it are out of the way. Can you piss off, please? I need to break, I need to kill, I need to kill the bodies that I killed and put there. Okay, oh god, oh, oh the bridge is down. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go, that would give me a moment though to go like that and go like that. There we go, make sure you are repaired, get you upgraded. Okay, there we go. Oh, back to normal again. The on the run, on the fly repairs that this takes is killing me. There is the morning time though. We've somehow made it through. Wow. I cannot believe I'm still here standing. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Shoot you in the back, you coward as fuck. Shoot you in the front, you the brave fuck. I don't care how you're doing. I'll murder you any which way. There's still lots of Muppets coming for me, but now I have a chance to actually get out there and deal with them personally. Quickly slap on a bandage. 
Definitely looking a bit worse for wear these days, but that's all right. Come here, buddy. Boom, it's clubbing time. Like the fucking Hulk, it's clobbering time. Make sure these guys are dead. That should be the last of the horde zombies. I think we're okay. Oh my God. Just, oh my God. Oh. I cannot, I cannot believe we actually made it through that. Like it's now the next morning. Let's quickly strap on the looting goggles. I mean, I need, oh, shit, I need to do that later. I need to leave all this loot here and come back for it. I need to build myself some new chests. I need to like reinforce all of this because it's really higgledy piggledy right now. Oh my God, how did I get through that? I genuinely have no idea. Look, the ladders are cooked. Everything is cooked. Everything is broken. But the shotgun, the auto shotgun, the thing that I put all of my faith in somehow got me through. So I'm going to have to come back and somehow continue the extinction series and loot all those loot bags. I know you hate it, but listen, after that, I need to go and take a quick breath of fresh air that may be in the form of some dense amber delicious liquid. Oh my god, but I'll have to do that in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, but most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you want to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.